Hello everyone, and welcome to our first attempt at a podcast. It's so first attempt, we don't even have a name for it yet. That's that's um, how first attempt this is. Craft after dark. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure about that one. Well, we're, we're, it's still up in the air, but I'm here with Isaac, aka Star Strikes, who has a channel that's linked in the description that has two videos at the moment. Yes, I'm so productive. <laughs> yeah, so, which is which is why this podcast is on my channel because I'll actually get it edited and uploaded faithfully every week. So. Yeah, I'm working on a video mm. about Minecraft and a commercial. Mm. It's gonna be funny if you want to know what that's like. I already have a video done with a commercial. Yeah. And it's it's been referenced a couple of times in other videos. Yeah, it's a pretty so funny commercial. If you want to go watch it, I promise I'm at least kind of funny. <laughs> I think you're great. That's why that's why I want to do a podcast with you. So that way we can get some laughter into other people's lives as we talk about story ideas and stuff. And you actually have a concept, so I'm going to let you read what your concept for this uh, video is going to be. Well, so. I'm probably just going to pull it out of memory. I mean, you can scroll up boring. on Discord. I can, or I can just th make up extra things as I go along if I really want to. Okay, go for so, it. Yeah, what I was thinking was like maybe some world building ideas, random world building ideas. So I thought, what if you had like your main protagonist, but he or she was in an elevator, and this protagonist could use this elevator to travel through time. I promise it's not a TARDIS. <laughs> and so the higher in the elevator, you go, then the further in time you travel, and the lower in the elevator you go, the further back in time you travel. But you're only traveling through the, your life. So the very uh, okay. top of the tower, top of the elevator, is the end of your life. The bottom is the beginning of your life. And I'm assuming that the ground, like below floor one, is probably when you were in the womb, but that's probably the most boring time in your life to travel to so well i mean i think the important thing to know is uh how when you're in this elevator do you stay the same age like do you or do you age down because that could be really dangerous like if you go all the way yeah. up it's insta death if you go all the way down you're like <laughs> you're you're dead because you're not in your mother's wound but you should be <laughs> Yeah, and, unless your I mean, mother like, just magically spawns into the uh, elevator and then she's confused. In which case, uh, does that mean that she's now, like, go? the elevator now works for her and then it's just an endless cycle? Ah, uh, good question. <laughs> I'm going to say um, she, that uh, only you can access this elevator. You okay. can't pull anyone else in with you, uh, uh, like, by traveling through time and if you were in the womb then I guess uh, I guess at that point maybe you would have to be able to be in multiple places at once maybe it's like your whole life is like going throughout this skyscraper or whatever and you could travel to see different points in your life but some points you might not even be there because you'll be in an elevator so when you go up the elevator to a certain floor that floor might just lead to another elevator. Well, in which case, wouldn't, like, all of it lead to an elevator? Because you just end up spending your entire life in the elevator. Well, maybe not your entire life. Maybe it's like you say, man, that was a really fun day at Laser Tag. Let's go with that. And you said, I want to relive that day. And so you just go down the elevator and be back to laser tag and then you run into yourself and you start shooting at yourself. <laughs> That's, uh, <laughs> that sounds like a paradox just waiting to happen. Although wouldn't it be fun just to do like a time travel thing where like screw paradoxes you can meet as many as you yourselves as you want. It's just a world of yeah. infinite use. Yeah that would be really interesting. I mean you could get a, just a whole party together and it's like if you want to have a laser tag battle but you're short a few people, just duplicate yourself a few times. Oh, I guess and that's we'll, kind of what it would become. It, would become. it wouldn't become time travel, it would be duplication. Kind of, yeah, but the duplication is caused by time travel. So oh. you duplicate yourself a few times, get yourself from a few different points in time, going back, and then suddenly, you've got a party. <laughs> and then, uh, 
you go and you play uh play laser tag. I like how you have like the ability to go back in time and stuff and your your idea of like the first thing you're gonna do is oh we're gonna go play laser tag with myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing I'm gonna do in a world where I can time travel and also interact with myself without uh, the world crumbling into a million pieces. <laughs> yes. We're gonna play it's like what some people would do is say it's like I'm gonna go back in time so that I don't ruin that relationship with that one person I had. I'm like Laser. Now, I'm going to duplicate myself a few times and play laser tag. <laughs> laser tag. I don't even like laser tag, so I probably would not do that. <laughs> well, we never clarified. I'm assuming we're staying the same age as when we get in the elevator. I mean, yes, I would think we are. But at that point, if we're traveling through the elevator, it's not. It's like if we stay the same age, then we're not going to... Like, what happens if we're an old person who keeps going into the elevator, but then never reaches the top of the skyscraper? Like, never lives long enough to, like, just live the life and go to the top of that skyscraper? Um... Or if you just keep on rewinding, do you, like, age to be 100? Can you die? Or do you have to go to the top of the skyscraper... Well, Before I guess we die. have to identify time. So, like, you're the same age, but, like, time's still continuing. Like, you're still... You're always... Despite... I The thing with, like, time travel is you, you know you're going back in time, but you're never going back in your own time. Like, in your timeline, you're still going forward. You're just going backwards in the world's timeline. So, like, if you spend five hours in the elevator, despite the fact you might go back five years, you're actually five years older still. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is that is that a logical time traveling thing to have? Like Doctor yes, Who. Doctor Who goes world. all over the time thing, but he's still aging. Or yeah, at least so his wait, uh, counterparts. So does this are. cause the top of the skyscraper to move? Like, it, you know, like would this not be like your life then anymore? That the skyscraper is the the skyscraper is the world, and you're just moving forward and backwards through time. Which is the world, but it's also a skyscraper. When the original idea was the skyscraper is your life, and you're moving up and down through your life. No, you're still but in you're your still life. Aging, but you're... then what happens if you just stay in the skyscraper, like in the lower levels, and you never reach the top? You just die in the skyscraper of old age, and then you've reached well, the then, top. What, you gotta wonder what's at the top of that skyscraper then. You like, sitting in a sky in an elevator, dying <laughs> of old age. <laughs> See, this is the problem with your thing that you're talking about. You're talking about, like, oh, you could spend the elevator. But at some point, there's a time in your life where you're just in the elevator. And if you never yeah. leave the elevator and go back to normal life, can you even? That's a question. We never established if you can get out of the elevator and stay out. Then you're stuck. Then you, you die in the I mean, elevator. Or good. also, like, you're going up to some point and that there's some point where it's just repeating. So, like, you've gone to that, uh, you've, you've gone to the laser tag game because you wanted to. And, yeah, so it's but not now, four times. Yeah, so now that laser bat team is in that earlier time zone, but it's also, if you were to go back, like, down, like, half a floor or whatever and open it up, you'd also, it'd also be there. So it'd be there twice. Go, it'd be on your thing twice. And then if you, yeah, and then if you, <laughs> does anyone, don't question my logic. <laughs> and then if you go no, into no, no, no. that, that again, you have another floor dedicated to it. And then you have, like, 20 floors dedicated just to this one game and it's just this one yeah. game on repeat <laughs> but now i want to know like how you go down half a floor Sounds like how far like i was thinking like maybe there was like a set amount of time that you would go back per floor like maybe it's a day or something okay but, but what if you wanted to try and go back like an hour do you like uh maybe open the top Wait, 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 what does the elevator shaft look like? I don't like, know. If, what if you were to like try and open up the top, like the emergency escape hatch of the elevator, <laughs> climb into the top of the elevator, and then activate the I, brakes I feel like that's just... when it's halfway between like one day and the other, or two different floors, then well, can you like try and squeeze yourself in between the floors? See, my thing, to I had like a, get half an hour or something. I don't know, so I had, so my idea of, like, this building was that it was the size of your life, so every second is in this elevator thing, this building. It's a tall building, okay, this is, this is a tall building. Well, actually, you might only be, like, 
four if you go into the elevator, and then it's a ton of short building. But st- <laughs> that, but still, <laughs> we won't question how a four year old got in. But yeah, so I've lost my train of thought now. But yeah, so you can open it at any time, any second, any minute, depending on how far down you go, I guess. So I guess you could almost think of the building not as going up and down, but going to the left and right type elevators, which do exist. They're weird, but they exist. But it's just what happened in the elevator if you went to the left and right. Oh, like if uh, if upward is your uh, future and downward is your past. What's, what's to the left and the right? I mean, that's why it's an elevator, so you don't go left and right. But theoretically, if you were in an elevator that could go up and down and left and right, and this elevator was your life, wh- what would happen if you were to go left and right? In time, like you well, go forward actually, and back in time. If you what think about, about it, right? if you think about it, when you're exiting the elevator, you're going to the left or right. So it's just That's true you entering into the time zone, and then you can. What move about forward time. and back? Also, wait. Another thing I feel like we have to talk about is what, how close do you have to be to yourself to be able to be in this new world? Like, or can you just go into a time and then decide, you know what, I'm gonna hop on a plane and head to China? <laughs> and go explore that what was happening there. I wonder I wonder what was going on in or at like uh you know or like you had a question like oh you got stood up on a date and so you decide you know what I'm going to go back to that day and yeah. I'm going to go check out to see what this jerk of a guy was doing and then you find out he was not doing something you wanted him to be doing for sure and you're like yeah he was a jerk he stood me up for that but like so how far can you go Like oh you went to laser tag rather than going on a date with me we were How going dare to, you? Yeah, you I would have gone so laser important. tagging with you. I'm obsessed with it. I have about 20 years of my elevator life dedicated to it. <laughs> but it's like, who could be so important that you would go out laser tagging with them rather than me? Oh, it's yourself. Okay, I see. I see how it is. Yeah, yeah it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I know, so that's, that's another thing you have to think about, is how far away you can be with the person. Because I, we've already established, we've decided that we don't care about paradoxes, and you can touch yourself and yeah. interact and whatever. But now you've got to ask. Now you got to ask the question: Are you the only person with this ability, Ooh. or does everyone have an elevator? Different floors? Yeah, does everyone have an elevator? Does everyone? Have like, imagine what kind of chaos that would be. Honestly, like if everybody had this. I elevator. feel like so the way that like if we establish the the way the time works and the way that I was thinking it does, then. I feel like at one point, everyone would become trapped in the elevator. Because imagine if uh, you had a kid in the elevator. Like, you left the world, and then you came back, and you had a kid, and the kid's life's the elevator. And then the kid enters his own elevator, but it's only, like, an elevator. And it's just an elevator. Or would that lead to, like, he now has access, because he's born in the elevator of the mother. Do they now have access, their mother, access to their mother's elevator? And would that give them, like, a whole more scope? And then they can access their mother's life. Which is interesting, because then they'd never be able to access their father's lives, only their mother's, which is another interesting thing. Like, oh, I don't know, it, like, increases the value of women now, because you have access to all of your mother's lives. But you once, yeah. once you have a guy, the lives die. So, like, the guy can't have someone save his life. So you have to have a girl to keep the line going. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I, hey, I think it's an interesting concept. Uh, yeah. yeah. But, like, I was thinking, um, like, that everybody would get their own elevator. I wasn't thinking about, like, shared elevators. Like, because yeah. we established that you're wrong. Well, no it's just, could, like, uh, if everyone lives in the elevator. Like, you pretty much spent your entire life in the elevator, and now now your life's more... You're, you spent more time in the elevator going to different lives than you did just living your life. So, well, at that point, going to the different lives is your life. Yeah. But at the same... Yeah, so, like, now one second has become 20 years. Like, but like here's what would happen, is you would have your own elevator, but then you would want to go to somebody else's life, so you'd go and get into that elevator, and as you were traveling through that elevator and to, different, and to that person's different points in life, Their you are creating your own your life elevator. and your own elevator, but you're just not in that elevator at the time. So then you could go back into your mother's elevator go up a few floors or whatever, then go over to your elevator, and there is your mother's life, just with you in it now. Oh, so now we've just created a world where we life hop. Pretty much. So we're just <laughs> hopping. But this is, but at the same time, it just means that this new generation that comes when this life hopping has started 
can only life hop. Like, they can never get really to their own time. They're stuck in the elevator's world. So we've trapped them in the world where all they've got is the past. All of a sudden, we've made it to there's no real future except the elevator. I mean, you could add a future... You could. I was thinking that you could still have, like, a so future and a present for everybody that just keeps going. But at the same time... Are like, they just not in it? Like, let's say you reach the top of that elevator... And let's say that's not your death, uh, but like that's just where time keeps going forward. Oh, so that's where, where you where leave the elevator. Maybe. Like, I mean, the original leave. idea was you reach the top of the elevator and you die. That's where you your death is. But in but that case, you we're trapped your death? in the elevator. <laughs> but maybe yeah, maybe the top of the elevator. Maybe maybe we have. I feel like for this world to wi- to for this thing, the elevator to work, we can't have it go into the future. You get yeah, to the top of the not. elevator and you're back in present time. But I think and an interesting I- yeah. into the future. But I think like an interesting idea is that when you're in present time, you're in present time in like how many to- how much time you spent in the elevator. So like someone enters the elevator and they come back 20 years later. And they've lost those 20 years. So like there's a consequence to the elevator. So like the time you spend yeah, in the maybe. elevator means you can't live that time in the present. The present keeps going without you. Yeah. Also, I almost so, feel like your trips to the past can't affect your present. So it's kind of more like a memory hopping, like you changing memories for yourself, but at the same time, it's not affecting your present. Kind of, at all. and in a way, you're almost creating other timelines, but at the same time, it's just not your. You're not because, like, because what happens is you go into your, let's say, your mother's elevator. Yeah. And I like this you've idea of going now changed the, the past and everything, but your mother still has her memories of you not being there. But yeah. now you were there, but that's not how your mother lived her life. And it doesn't have any consequences on her future, even though her past has changed. Yeah, so her elevator's so, life hasn't changed. Like, if you were to go back into her elevator and go back to that memory again, nothing would have changed. But if you were yeah. to go into your elevator and go into that point of your life, you have the changed reality. Yeah. In your elevator, so, but not so much. Yes. So now, it's, you've created a fan fiction elevators. <laughs> where people can go into different elevators and have like different fan fiction lives <laughs> by like hey, hey. picking elevators you can be you like hey we- I have the elevator where Hitler died earlier you should come and check <gasps> out mine because you people who actually have memories of uh, of Hitler fighting they can't have that unless they went back themselves but someone else could go into their elevator have that and then it's in their elevator so now elevators just Good. it's like who can create the best it's like creating stories but you actually live the stories. Yeah, can you? I was thinking, can you imagine going up to somebody and being like, hey, I'm a big fan of your life. You, do you I mean, mind it's like, reading my fan into my elevator fan fiction? Exactly! <laughs> that conversation happens in this world. <laughs> do you mind checking out my fan fiction elevator? Oh my gosh, that that so that is so weird. And the great thing about fan fiction is that it's known for having self insert characters. Because you are, you're the one. In it. <laughs> yes, you just oh my goodness. Except in this case, you're not a Mary Sue. Yeah, but not. But here's the thing. Here's the. So can you die in the elevator, like while you're part of the elevator? I would think you could. Okay, so you still have to be careful. Like, you can't be, like, going up to, to Hitler with his tons of guards and try to shoot him. Which I guess is why some elevators would become so valued, because some realities are harder to change. So the Maybe, one person yeah. who succeeded in that, his elevators co- become down. And then you can have, like, a market charging people to visit your elevator. Like, oh, those, wow. And then it becomes, I like... I mean, how many people... What, if you've got, like, a market where people are trying to shoot you, do, you what about with duplicating money? We've already... Except you can duplicate things, and yeah. including yourself. Uh, we also have the issue of once one person visits your elevator, they have access to your elevator, and then they can charge money. That's so it was true. Really, so I guess like, you, like if you die, does your elevator still remain, or does your elevator disappear? Ooh, that's another good point. I, think how about do you this. access once, people's elevators? Eventually, though? those elevators are going to get risk. The room place is going to get crowded. Yeah, like that skyscraper is going to eventually fill up two full of elevators so if we were to have all the elevators of everyone in history that's billions if not trillions of elevators that's yeah that's like trillions of elevators just I kinda, I kinda piling like the up. idea that like once you die your elevator dies 
It's kind yeah, of, it's so, like elevators and then it, out of order. Yeah, because then I think it also adds to the importance of having people visit. It encourages you to have more people visit your elevator because that's how your memory continues living, how your stories that you've created continue. They only continue if someone's visited it. So now you have to share your life story and your things or else your elevator becomes useless. Yeah, yeah. and then everybody's going to be very upset when they say, no, 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 I don't want to see your elevator. This guy... Justin Bieber's living the more fun life. Let's go see what he's up to. Oh, he's in jail again? Huh. <laughs> Wait, let's break him out and have a fun time with that. You know, there's just <laughs> let's break him endless out, see what happens. Yeah, there's, so, there's endless possibilities with the, these elevator things. It's not illegal if it only kind of actually happened, right? It actually happened in the real present time. <laughs> Uh, so I feel like I do like, feel like you have to get permission to visit other people's elevators. Like there's a yeah, way I there. definitely think you would need permission. You can't just visit random people's elevators, and that also does close <laughs> off like a lot. Like right now, we there, I don't think there's anyone living who's fought in World War One now, so we don't have access to change that. I mean, we could at least go back into one elevator and then talk with somebody, and then get uh, their permission. Who... But they're they're. I don't think that you could, like, time. link elevators through different times. I think oh, you could yeah, only go th through one elevator at a time. Like, you couldn't... Yeah, I Like, you could leave your elevator and go to someone else's, but you couldn't leave that elevator. Yeah. And then go to someone else's in that memory. Well, and I think in the world we're creating, these elevator, This building's an actual building. Like, this is a legit building with elevators. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I feel like... It's just all elevators. Yeah, so it's... I guess this is more like a giant world thing or something... I, I, I'm sure there's a way to get to it easily, easier, but, and you I was have... really just imagining a skyscraper. Yeah, yeah, no, and so you just, in which case, yeah, which means that, yeah, definitely people of the past wouldn't have an elevator, and also, in order to access someone else's elevator, you have to go back to the present time. Yeah, maybe, I guess, yeah, yeah. yeah you'd have to go, good. so you'd go back to the present, go into, you can't <coughs> enter one elevator from another, not even your own elevator. Yeah. It just your elevator just starts taking on elements of other people's elevator cuz you're exploring them. I feel like the present will become very empty cuz everyone's just having fun in the elevator worlds and like you have this one busy area where people are like switching between elevators and stuff, but outside this elevator thing, you have probably just have the a society that's not doing great cuz those societies never do great. <laughs> <laughs> and of course so that's the society the books will all be written about is the society that doesn't have access to the elevators that, maybe that's what the ground floor is what the society that has no access to elevators or like they know maybe oh so maybe we should talk about like what how you get an elevator like who's deemed worthy of getting an elevator I mean I was thinking like it comes with birth like you're born, and then an elevator's automatically created, and then when you die, the elevator disappears. Yeah, so will there be people who don't have elevators then in this world? Maybe there would be people who uh, have you know, all who have done horrible, horrible things in other people's elevators, or even their own elevator in the present and everything, and those criminals get sent down to the ground floor and have their cables cut. So, are you saying, so now we have an organization in this world that has the ability <laughs> to shut down your elevator. That's yeah, I guess we do now. Like, yeah. like, I guess I would be like the government of the skyscraper. Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, it's, this is story world. They're probably not the most pleasant. And maybe now, they're, I, maybe I they guess live that's at the top of the skyscraper. I mean, someone has to enforce rules. So someone could be like, someone did something really naughty with my elevator memories, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> and you can like send a, fa a proper complaint, and then and now you have <laughs> jobs of people whose jobs it is who have access to all the elevators. Like without, they don't have to have permission. Can yes, because I would totally get a job rather than duplicating a hundred dollar bill. Well, I mean. I, there's probably other well you have to work or else uh, you lose access to your elevator oh and also can you take things out of the elevator I'm, or is it just yourself no I mean maybe you can only go in I and then like that's you how you duplicate things out. and everything is duplicated within the elevator but you can't take things but, so out so it's worthless in the real world so you still need a job for when you come back to the present also how do you like, eat instead of elevator and all that stuff because you're aging still 
Uh, you have a toilet in the elevator. I think Everyone's it, got I their own personal you, toilet. I think the thing is, and you then, have to bring your own supplies to survive. This is also another way to get people to come out and not disappear for 20 years. You have to bring your own supplies for you to eat into the elevator. You can't eat and, like, interact with things and stuff in past times. Like, it doesn't fill you up. Because you're still in the present. So you need to bring with you things from the present to fill you up and stuff and eat and stuff so you can keep going. This is such a strange world. It is a strange world, but this way you have the need for money so people will work and you can have these fun jobs and stuff. You have people who then become too poor to afford to go even into their elevator. So that becomes a thing in this society. I know, I'm getting really excited about this elevator society, and I don't know why. It's just, it's an intriguing concept. Like, you, it, it is. You could definitely get, like, some interesting uh, you stories out of You have the story of, of the, what? Yeah, you got a book out of this. This is, this is a great book idea. I mean, it would be really hard to convey all this exposition and world building and stuff, like... But you could do it. Re- re- like, it would be really mind-bending I know, for the I, reader. I, look, see, I just read 1984, okay? And this has okay, some yeah, that's... extreme 1984 vibes, and that's a great book, by the way. Yeah, I had the same thought going through my head when this... we were talking about cutting the cables this... of the yeah, elevator. This is, this is 19... My mind went to 1984. Yeah, this is 1984, which I've just read. Great book. And so, it's possible. 1984 is an awesome book. You can write this book. I could write this book. One of us could write this book. It's just, it's not a short story. Yeah. <laughs> it needs a Yeah, this is, uh, this is not a book. short story at all. This is like... This is going to be a long story just for trying to convey how the world works, because this is really, really mind-bendy. But I think, I mean, but at the same time, it hasn't, we've only been doing probably this actual part, like, for 30 minutes. We've already conveyed a lot of what this world would consist of, so I think, and we were very scattered and not very ordered, so I feel like if you organized it pretty well, you could get a pretty solid world in a couple of chapters, and then you can just spend time exploring it with whatever characters and people you want you have like because we have like different societies different jobs different we're slowly fleshing out flaws so also on this idea it means that you probably i guess yeah you could have a kid in the elevator and what would that do because that can happen because you're aging so yeah, so you can have, so what hap- are there going to be rules in place to prevent, like, pregnant women from going into the elevator? Or... I mean, I was trying to figure out what would happen once you, once, uh, you're born, because once you're born, the elevator would just magically appear, but you're not in that elevator. Do you have to be born in the elevator? Probably. Like, or do, are you born in the present? Well, you, the elevator's just creating, I mean, the elevator is creating itself. It's just creating itself, right? Anyways, yeah. So, so what just... happens if are you cared for uh, for a while before being put into your own elevator? Like when do when do you start? When are you given control over your life yeah. <laughs> to go and travel through your elevator? Or do we have like things where families are taking children and literally using them to make the perfect elevator? I mean, there's a Ooh. main character for your story. You have a character who's family has used their life to make the perfect elevator. I mean, there's Just, that story. There's the story of the person who's had his elevator cables cut and is trying to bring them back, maybe a, a, along with a few other people trying to repair them. You got or, the story yeah. of the uh, yeah, of the guy who's just duplicating himself for a game of laser tag. Uh, <laughs> you got the romantic uh, uh, love... You got the love story where someone gets stood up and they're using the elevator to investigate what exactly is going on with the their, with the elevator yeah, with police their, uh, guy their who's investigating people who are misusing the elevator to do things yeah yeah, yeah you got mystery it. stories where you're traveling through different people's paths to try and solve a problem you've got um uh and all the while you're not affecting the present at all your presence 
still going on without yeah, you. Present and, keeps going. And plus, you're like tied to it still because you need food from the present. So you have to bring. You can only. I I can imagine like people are going like, oh yeah, I'm about to go on a two month holiday, and they, you could just see them lugging like this giant thing of food for two months into their elevator, <laughs> and they're like, see you in two months. <laughs> it's like where are you going there? But okay. Like, at that point, just go hang out with that guy. If you want to hang out with that guy, just go back in your own elevator to do it. Just go yeah. back in time in, yeah. into a memory and be like, hey, so just abandon this time you're spending with me so that you can hang out with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's I, I think it's an interesting concept because I like the concept just because we got rid of the paradox that's involved with time travel because it's not actually time travel anymore. Yeah, this is a re like really weird form of time travel like it's memory it's hopping not, yeah it's, it's more like memory us, hopping and now we're store memories are now an a uh, something that can be valued uh, they take on a new value we now have to have new rules in society to regulate things we have the guy go i now want to know the story of the guy who's taking the two months food supply into the elevator <laughs> where he's off to <laughs> it's like of all it's like if you were ranking the stories of like how interesting they are it's like at the bottom, it's like you've got uh, the, laser tag. the murder mystery, and then you got the love story, and then you got the laser tag, <laughs> and then the guy with the food in the, <laughs> is storing it up for two months to going into the elevator. <laughs> yeah. I, I almost think it'd be kind of fun to do like a short story collection with this world. So like you have a, you have you have the first short story, it's just explaining how the world works. It's the boring story, but you need to read it to understand the rest of it. And then you have a ton of short stories about these different people, and you format a book in that way. I don't know. I feel like... Yeah, I mean, that would be really... Be Imagine if you could, like, have all these different stories intertwining with each other and interacting with each other. And then you could also... just thinking of the concept, and now you want to intertwine them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, I'm just thinking that it's like if you were to invite like you could have a like maybe in the memories of one person uh, <clears throat> there's this interaction that they had with another guy from another story uh, and also I realize like, why some be, like, memories major, will actually but... be valued more because if you think about it the, old, the people who uh, so an original memory that's just been altered only has one random person in it who changed it slightly but as time continues, there's memories that have, like, 80 people wondering about it. Because you're going into the memory of someone who went into a memory. And is remembering that memory. So. Yeah, I mean, what happens... So what happens if you go back to... Uh, go into somebody else's memory, but then you don't want to leave? Uh, like, you die because you, you lose food supply. You just your whole life there. I mean, what? I guess you, you have to come out and get food because we have that in state so you have to you come can't back eat out. the food that's in the memories no because i feel because so the way that this works is that you're still kind of aging you're still aging normally but this is past food this is just memory food so it doesn't actually fill you this so is this is food that's already been eaten and digested and you're yeah eating it. <laughs> yeah so it doesn't do anything it doesn't work for you so you have to have food that came in with you that's also of the same timeline as you in order for you, oh, but you, so you bring it back. Eating. That's that's why the guy who's going off for two months has this giant trailer of like food with him as he's going into it because he can't he can't live two months in it without that food supply, and it also so, yeah, means that I'm that basically that, eating poop. Yeah, which is disgusting. <laughs> and no, actually, you're eating like nothing depending how far back you're going. And I feel like the food loses even more value once it's like a memory of a memory of a memory of a memory. At that point, it's just nothing. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, we weren't doing that whole memory of a memory of a memory. It was just, like, a memory of someone else. That's about it. Yeah, but once that person dies, all you've got is the memory of someone else visiting that oh, memory. Oh. And then that what person dies. What if you dies. die? Wait. What if you die while someone else is in your elevator? Or if <gasps> the person is in that elevator and then they that. die and then the elevator disappears? Ooh, what does happen when so that happens? It. Like, do you die too? Are you lost to memory? Are you... Yeah, I also feel like we haven't really dived into the idea, can you die in a memory? I think we've established you can to make, like, memories more valuable, certain memories more valuable because there's a risk to them. Yeah, like, it's one thing to say, like, you cannot be killed in the memory, but what if the memory that you're in Just ceases to exist? Oh. That's... Like, 
Because that person dies, and then the elevator goes with them. What happens to you? Where are you? Well, like, then your elevator point, ceases to you're exist. You're just in an abyss. What happens if your elevator ceases? What if it starts a chain reaction? What if, like, every yeah, time someone it, like, dies, it's just a chain reaction of, like... Is there... At one point, do they become so interconnected that all the memories just stop? Like, at one point, some just one person died, and it was so interconnected, now everyone's dead except the people who are left over. The people who didn't go in the memory elevator. I mean, I wouldn't... I'm saying, like, it's... You only... Something would only happen to you if you were in the elevator at the time of this person's death. Yeah, well, I mean, if everyone's in the elevators... Like, I could, I could see a chain reaction, like, where if you're in someone's elevator, and then they die, and that kills you, and, and then someone uh, was so in your elevator. elevator, and if somebody else is in your elevator, then they, they die. die. And so, then somebody, but so you would you have to talk. have somebody in your elevator while you're not in your elevator. Well, you yeah, I don't them, think you can both. Permission. We, uh, oh, we never saw, yeah, I guess you could have multiple people in the same elevator. So you could have like a I guess everybody would just be avoiding the elderly at that point. Like, is like, like this is hello, like, grandson. Would you like to come and see my uh, my memories from fifty years ago? Uh, no thanks, Grandma, because you might die. And I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, that's that's an interesting like some. That's just, yeah. Also, I like the idea that multiple people can go in the same elevator because then you could have like squat teams who uh, who do like really dangerous missions to get the proper memories for the elevator like so you have them and then you have the one a person who just lives in their memories to get their memory so their elevator works better so like this entire squat team comes changes the memory gets a really cool memory now and then you and then they come out and they like take a vacation and they let like this one person who's not allowed to do anything dangerous ever come and live through their memory in the safe version and then that memory becomes like the memory that other people like this pay so money to go bendy. isn't it it is. It is mind bending, but it's cool. It's confusing, but it's cool. This would be so hard to write and convey all this information. It would. I agree. There's just a lot to convey. And I mean, I have far enough time conveying my information that I already have, like, in my book, and yeah. it's not quite this complicated. Like, it's somewhat complicated, but it's also not too hard to wrap your head around yeah and actually this is this is all the time we've got for today oh okay yeah well goodbye was... everybody yeah, well, so, yeah trying, moral of, moral of the story up. stay out of your grandma's elevator <laughs> 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 oh, and on that note farewell everyone <laughs>